Thank for watching from Terrace News TV. My name is Jean. Southeast governors have raised the alarm that members of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, a separatist organization led by Namdi Kamio, have threatened to kidnap them. The chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, David Amai of Ebony Estate, disclosed this yesterday at Nwagu Military Cantonment in Abakliki during the flag off of Operation Igwuik 111 by the Nigerian Army 82 Division. Report Cat. Southeast governors have raised the alarm that members of indigenous people of Bifra, Ipid, a separatist organization led by NNMDI can, have threatened to kidnap them. The chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, David Mahi of Ebony Estate, disclosed this yesterday at NWAEGU military cantonment in Abakalika during the flag off of Operation Act 8111 by the Nigerian Army 82 Division. The governor said the threat was received via text message sent to his wife. His this words, the GOC, you are coming at a time we had note from our brothers out. and sisters of Ibn sending text messages that there will be no elections and insulting the leaders, particularly the Southeast governors. Just few days back they sent text message to my wife that the five governors of Southeast would be kidnapped and that the security would overpower that of the governors and that after ransom were paid, they would kill them and kill themselves. That is laughable, as a leader in the zone, I must say that some of their complaints are genuine, but the approach is very bad, that is why the leaders of Southeast are not in support of their approach. So, I use the opportunity to ask that other geopolitical zones have youth pressure groups, but their approach is not the same. And so we are not against them, but their approach. And as chief security of the state, I do not welcome them, every state is not part of Bifra, we are sovereign state, we don't want to be colonized again, we are a state demanding better treatment in the affairs of our nation. I know they will attack me in social media, but it doesn't stop what we are doing, he said. Just a few days back, I heard of a new clash of some cult groups. The CPN director of SSS informed me and I thought that the matter is laid to rest because we had an agreement that there will be no cult clash again in Ebony Estate. And so I want to let them know that I will be directing operation at week 111 to them because they have bridged the agreement. And I know all of them one by one, he said. Speaking earlier, the General Officer Commanding 82 Division, Major General Ababakar Makodi, said the exercise for the first time would be conducted simultaneously across the nation. Makodi further assured residents in Ebony State and the Southeast including other states of Army's professionalism in the discharge of their duty during the exercise and thereafter. He also said the military would be neutral in the forthcoming general elections.